Hi, this is Johnny for Jesus, and we're going to talk about cults. This is the first cult we're going to talk about. It's called a True Church. Uh, founder was Darren Fish. Ha, ah, very funny. Uh, membership is approximately 50 people. Origin was in ninth, approximately 1993, and was founded in Moody's, Oklahoma. Their practices are standing out in front of various Christian churches with signs condemning that church as a false church, writing against various teachers such as John MacArthur and Billy Graham. Um, here's some teachings and quotes from a true church. The church affirms that 66 books of the Bible it affirms the 66 books of the Bible, but that God is all uh, that God is all knowing and into eternal. Affirms the Trinity, but says the Holy Spirit is seven spirits. Okay, blasphemy. It affirms the deity and two natures of Jesus. Okay, in order to properly represent the church, following are the list of quotes and statements from the group. Uh, being saved, coming to the knowledge of the truth. Okay, that's stupid. Uh, Jesus is the only one who gives knowledge to take. It takes to be saved. That knowledge is faith in His Word. His blood is only applied to those who have their knowledge, this knowledge. Okay. They state that God is plural as God the Father. Jesus, the Son of God, is both divine and human, and the personhood of the Holy Spirit. However, they state that the Holy Spirit is plural, in which He is as God is plural, and who He is describes that. This one Holy Spirit is to be seven spirits. Blasphemy, as I said before. Contrary to popular opinion within the false Christian world, second you can look at up in Second Timothy three one to five and four through three. God the Father is a man, as a, as in Exodus fifteen three plainly declares. Scripture teaches that the Son of God is man, both before the incarnation and after. Man looks like God. Uh, you can find that in 1 Corinthians 11.7. For the Lord himself is a man. And e.g. Genesis 32.22-30. Actually two men. They believe. John, well, you can find that in eight, John 8.17.18. 8, where they get that, that, that blasphemy from. Uh, the Son of God humbled himself to become a man, not that he wasn't already the, a man in the person of Jesus Christ. Well, first of all, he wasn't a man prior to coming as a man. He was a spirit, which he still is. Uh, they quote Philippians 2, 5-11 for that. The church is the body of all believers. It's not partic particularly a congregation, but it's comprised of members worldwide. That is pretty much true. Christmas is an ungodly pagan holiday. That's partly true. Because Christmas was placed on the same day as Saturnarius, but it was actually created 300 AD to represent Jesus' birthday, not to be Jesus' birthday. Anyway, they affirm that salvation is by faith, affirms that the existence of fallen angels and Satan, affirms the future resurrection, affirms the future 1,000 year kingdom of Christ's rule, affirms the, the eternality of hell. Uh, a, fa a true church states if, that if you commit suicide, you go to hell. Not necessarily true, because it's not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And if you were saved and you had given yourself to the Lord, they would be wrong on that stance. A true church condemns many as false teachers. Some of those more notable are Jack Hayford, Bill Bright, founder of Chris Campus Crusade for Christ, and John MacArthur of Grace, GraceChurch.org, John Rimber of Vineyard Churches, and Billy Graham. They say if you are involved in the kind of Christianity that views the Church of Christ, or Billy Graham, or Rick Warren, or Joel St Osteen, or jo James Dobson, or Pat Robinson, or John MacArthur, or Tony Evans, or, or Greg Laurie, or Charles Stanley, or Chuck Smith, or Fred Price, or Vernon McGee, 
or Charles Blake or Charles uh, Chuck Sandal or Gene Scott or Harold Camping of Family Radio or John Mc, uh, John Piper or T D Jakes or David Jeremy or Charles Spurgeon what stupid or David Hunt or David W Cloud or Perry F Rockford would or Neil Anderson or Robert Schuler or J Jack Hayford or Benny Hinn or Miles McFerrin or Ray Comfort or Jim Car Carberry or Chuck Colson or C S Lewis or John uh, John Paul the Pope or Hank Hangergraf or Paul Chappelle or any of the like then you that anyone that on, on Christian TV or radio as godly men, you are not saved. They cannot sit here and say that you are not saved because they do not know what's in the man's heart. And combining all these people that are on TV do not necessarily combi uh, make you a non-Christian if you believe in them. Now, stone prosperity gospel people with regular preachers is laughable because it's like saying everybody on TV is evil and not preacher God. Which I would find stupid, because I've never found anything wrong with C.S. Lewis, Charles Spurgeon, John Piper, John MacArthur. I don't even think Charles Stanley is a prosperity preacher, so, I mean, you can sit here and look at some of them, and yeah, you, they are prosperity preachers, but they're not going to send you to hell. They're just going to take your money, and they're probably not a true preacher of God. Anyway. A, this is a biblical analyst of the this, this super church. A true church exhibits harsh judgment on just about everyone who does not agree precisely with their interpretation of scripture, which has numerous problems. It also teaches doctor, doctrinal regeneration, the, the error that you must have correct doc, doctrine to, in order to be saved. This is false teaching. It's not in the Bible. We come to know the truth because we are saved. We do not know the truth in order to become saved. They quote uh, quote First Corinthians two fourteen and Romans three ten. Anyway, there is a great deal of confusion on the essentials and non essentials of the faith, and true church mistakenly requires non essentials as essentials. So that is that church of garbage. They have they do hit on some points, but. The majority of points, they are really off, and they need to be advised. If not, the Lord will advise them in the last days.